Hello brothers and sisters. Um, I don't have anything written for you right now, but I do want to share something with you. Um, when I wrote this cup, um, you know, these are not my own thoughts. When I read through these writings that I have, I'm seeing things in a new way too. And what I'm seeing is um, the vision that God gave me with the castle the, the, it's in three parts, three videos that I made, and the third one is the m probably the most important. Um, what I'm seeing is there's truth, and then there was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that wasn't supposed to be eaten from. So we, we go to the to the vision I had of the castle, to the third part, and. I'm seeing through the eyes of the warrior and the warrior is also you too and in the third part of the castle vision the warrior is down on his hands and knees and he is seeing in three different ways he's seeing through his physical eyes his surroundings and then through the left eye, he is seeing all the evil. On the right side, he's seeing all the good, supposed good, because there's good and there's evil, but there's truth. And so you see in the castle vision, the good and the evil warring inside of him until he cries out father i need you and then the his the light shines on him suddenly everything is lifted from him he, he sees the truth not of not our our concept of what we see as good and evil but the truth and so I started going through all the things that I that that I've been writing and sharing with you guys and I see that more and more clearly. So um the, uh, this is very important. There's good and evil and there's truth. There's us seeing the world through in a false way and they're seeing the world through truth and God's Word is what separates you know the sword of truth separates uh, so I'm, I'm gonna read you guys uh, another writing that I've done but I want you to to see through this, see through the truth, you know, um, because we're living in this flesh where we're wanting to uh, make up our own interpretation of good and evil when we're made in truth. So, uh, a couple things that I, other things I wanted to say was uh, this is something that God showed me too was I don't know if you have ever seen this so-called documentary uh, called Zeitgeist where um, they're saying that there was all these different people throughout time who claimed all the same attributes as Jesus you know they claimed that they were born of a virgin and all the whole thing had 12 disciples all of this stuff and the the videos made many many people fall away and so what the Lord showed me is we see you know there's all this deception all of this all these things coming against you to take you away from the truth and when Jesus was here, him being here in itself 
separates time, as in AD and BC. Everybody recognizes this. Everybody sees this, from the atheist to the non-believer to the believer. Everyone recognizes it. A separation of time. Who can separate time but God himself? And he did. A.D. B.C. There will be many who come in my name. You know, they're, oh, look, here's the Christ. No, there he is. They're, they're, everybody's pointing their fingers. He is the truth. And he himself separates time itself. So those are a couple of things I wanted to say. And, and, when, and it's real hard for me to, to, to try to speak. That's why I guess that's why the Lord's get, helped me doing this by writing things out. But sometimes it's good to just straight out just talk and see where where it goes um, we're seeing something happen in this world right now and it's our children are being attacked they're telling our kids that they can pick whatever they, they want to be when we were made in God's image so what is happening they're trying to destroy the image of God and saying you can be whatever you want to be no in this cup I wrote about Sodom and Gomorrah and the Lord says before he comes that, that it will be like the days of Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah and what was going on when anybody would come into these these cities they were gone after beaten robbed everything that you could think of so what I'm saying is um, we're living in the I am generation everybody's I am look at me it's all about the individual uh, Nebuchadnezzar, remember what he said in the book of Daniel? Look what I have done. Look what I did. And the Lord turned him to a beast. One of the worst words in our vocabulary is I. None of, I don't think any of us like to use the word I, but unfortunately it's in our vocabulary. But when you're speaking out I, 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 from your heart, that is the problem. Saying I in our vocabulary is just, but we're just saying it. I think you, you understand what I'm saying? We're not saying it from the heart, like, oh, I this and I that. It's, you know, Nebuchadnezzar, that's what he did. The Lord turned him into a beast. We're living in the I am generation. Are they going, is the Lord going to turn, turn them into a beast? Not a physical beast, but uh, something that has no moral compass. You, you, under, you understand what I'm saying. And and it's coming. It's It's coming in a way that we can't even comprehend. Um, we have to keep our eyes focused on Jesus and that's it. And, and love one another and lift each other up. And all of this is for God. He He's working through you because you're the body of Christ. You're the body of Christ. He is the head. You make up the body. We don't know how the other functions of the body are working. We don't even know how we're working ourselves, but we trust in Him. We trust in Him. 
and him alone. A lot of us feel lost. A lot of us feel confused. But the more the we see that he Jesus Christ is is the focus of our lives the more we see that we are where we're where we are is where we're needed to be and um, I, I the, going back to the the truth we were made in truth and ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil born through 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 the fall of Adam and Eve we're just dis, dis, trying we're distinguishing between good and evil for ourselves without truth I don't understand the full the fullness of it but I hope I, I pray that you're that you see what I'm saying um, Jesus is the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. How deep, how deep is that? Can we even, even fathom it? Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. He lives in you. He dwells in you. Um, oh, I am um, working on a song for you guys. Um, so I'm lucky you. You're going to get to hear me sing it because that's the only way you're going to know how it goes. So uh, anyways... Um, <clears throat> there's a sister that I want you to check out her channel I'll leave it I'll leave the link in the comment section you're you're gonna really enjoy what what she's doing and please go in and watch her video please and um, God bless you all you, you you mean so much to me. Oh, and one other thing. I'm not getting all the the notifications and stuff. Uh, and when I have time, I go and look. So just know, you're not forgotten. You're always on my on my mind and in my heart. And this, you know, we're all together. Just please remember that and know that. We're, we're all part of the same body. God bless each and every one of you, my brothers and sisters. Have a wonderful day.